Dr. Lani. Thank you for joining me again, Mike, for another episode at Account Vice, yeah. our strategy room here. Could you write your company name on the board so yeah. we kind of have a clear... Yes, the company name is called Account, Account Vice. Yes, I hope this is big enough for everyone to see. That's the name Account of the company here. Account and then Vice. Vice. That's right. Okay, now, people always have problems with taxes yes yes and people sometimes do their own taxes and um, from my experience sometimes people have said they have not gotten what is actually owed to them from that's what right. they've paid that's right and you know what mike that's actually a great question because you find that um there's so many software to use out there Mm -hmm. it, the do-it-yourself softwares, right? Yeah. The challenge that you run into with those softwares is that um, what you don't know, you don't know. Right? Yeah. The software you just put in the numbers, it does the work for you on the back end. But at the end of the day, uh, in the if thank you, you do need uh, an accurate tax return, I always recommend going to see a professional that knows exactly what they're doing and what credits you qualify for and what needs to be inputted on your tax return. So typically, what is your basic charge for um, a basic tax return? Yeah, so for, for the basic tax returns, we charge $150. And then the next level after that is what we call sole proprietorship or self-employed uh, tax returns. And for those, we charge $450. And um, is there a difference? Is there a benefit of uh, just having a basic tax return or is it just the difference between someone having a company and being an individual? Yeah, so great question actually. So, so, so there's actually uh, different distinctions. So for example, there are some self-employed people that just register trade name. And yeah. in that case, we call that a sole proprietorship okay. or just a self-employed. What that, what that actually means is that on your tax returns, we actually add um, everything together in terms of the um, uh, sole proprietorship income and expenses. And sometimes people are also uh, formally employed as well. So we have situations where people run their own side business, but they also work full-time or part-time for an employer. So in that case, we put everything together, your T4s and your income and expenses for, from your um, self-employed business. And that's what we call a sole proprietorship return. Okay. Then we do have situations where... Um, and that is just the 150 typically? Yes, yes, okay. right. So what, 150 is for the basic tax returns. When you come in with your T4s and your RSP receipts and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. And then 450 will cover the, um, uh, the T4s with any other sole proprietorship income and expenses. So that is just in more depth, people who are running yes. different exactly. uh, write-offs. Exactly, and different uh, write-offs, and we will definitely talk more about that when we um, talk more in our next workshop about the difference between sole proprietorship and incorporation, okay. and what that means legally and in other aspects as well. All right, thanks to Lani. Those who haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. But uh, let's go on to the next step.